it's Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're going to be talking about common denominators. Okay, so up until now, when we have been adding and subtracting fractions, we have been lucky enough that we've always had the same denominator in our fractions, right? Can we keep the denominator the same and then add the numerator? But that doesn't always happen in math. What if you want to add a problem like this? We do not have the same denominator. What do we do? Well, we have to find a common denominator and convert these fractions over to the common denominator. Take a look. I'm going to write this down this way so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Well, one half and three fourths don't have the same denominator, but what is the least common multiple of two and four? That would be the number four, right? So that's a number that they both go into. So I'm going to convert, let's start with our one half, to a denominator with a four. We know that two times two is four. What you do to the bottom, you got to do to the top. So one times two is two. One half equals two fourths. Now we have a common denominator now. They're both going to be three fourths. So I'm just going to rewrite this one over here. And now we can do our math because we have the same denominator. Two plus three is five fourths, and we're going to turn that improper fraction into a mixed number, which is one and one fourth. Take a look at this example. One third plus two sixths. Let's first write it vertically, and then we'll look for a common denominator. Well, it looks like the common denominator between three and six is going to be six. So let's rewrite the one third. 3 times 2 is 6, so 1 times 2 is 2. Let's add it to the already existing 2 6, and our answer is 4 6. But do we keep 4 6 as is? Nope, we need to simplify, we need to reduce. So we're going to reduce that down to 2 thirds. Let's try one last example. Here we have 1 eighth plus 1 fourth. What's going to be the common denominator? Well, between 8 and 4, we know that 8 is the common denominator. So let's rewrite this whole thing, changing the 1 fourth over to 8. 4 times 2 is 8, so 1 times 2 is 2. And we're just going to bring over that 1 eighth, since it already has 8 as a denominator. And now we add 1 eighth plus 2 eighths equals 3 eighths. And that's it. That's how we start with common denominators. You look for your lowest common multiple, your least common multiple, that will be your new denominator. We were just lucky enough that in these problems, one of our fractions was the least common multiple. Okay, give the practice problems a try, and I will see you next time. I hope you're having a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.